welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my September favourites. I know it's probably a little bit later than I'd normally like to do them, but um, I still wanted to do them for you anyway. So let's get started. So my first um, favourites are nail polishes and this month I haven't really been changing my nail polish up too much. Um, I have kind of been letting them chip and get a little bit not so nice looking and so manicured. But um, I have been loving two particular, and they've been, I've been loving them as the duo together. So the first one is the Revlon Chroma Chameleon um, nail polish in pink quartz. And I think this is from their, I think it's a new collection, well I saw it was new in Boots. Um, and it is just a really lovely colour. It kind of two tones to pink and gold, and I just really love this. I think it's a really lovely um, autumn-y shade, a little bit more autumn than I suppose winter, but what I really like about it is if you mix it together with um, Barium's Rose Quartz Glitter, the duo together just look amazing on the nails. I've absolutely, I Instagrammed a photograph, so make sure you check out my Instagram so you can have a look at that, but the two of them together just work so well, and it kind of is like the perfect kind of Christmassy glitter instead of going for like the classic red um, nail but I love these two together um, and I've just been loving them this month and I genuinely have had a lot of compliments on them so I would go and get some of these because I think you'll really enjoy them and this Chroma um, Chameleon one I think has about six of the colours in their collection. I think it's about, six, I think there were six in the store. And, there was, and they had this really gorgeous, like turquoisey kind of bluey colour. It was like blue and navy. And I think that might be the next one that I need to buy. But I've been loving these two together. Going into makeup, I have been obsessed with my Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush this month. It's a bit grubby, I haven't cleaned it for this video. Um, if you saw my last video, my last like part of my Steph September series that I did, in my top five random products that I had, I had my Sigma um, F80 Kabuki, which is the my all time favorite makeup brush. But if you've watched that, you know what I was talking about, that I've let it get a little bit messy and I haven't really looked after it because I don't really look after my makeup brushes very well. Um, and I wanted to try this brush out and see if it was all worth the hype that it was and I just think it's amazing. I love the feel of it. I love, I also even love the look of it and how easy it is to like stand it up but it works so well into the skin, buffing all the foundation in and I really do just love this brush so that's that one. Staying with makeup products, I have been loving this um, collection eyeshadow pencil it's in vanilla sky and what i really like about this um is i've been using it as a base um well i've been using my oh, what's it my Too faced eyeshadow insurance but then if i've been using a color very champagne color then i've been putting that um this on first and then using the champagne color over the top i've done it today and i've got um one of the colors from my mua one of my mua palettes and if I just, it's so creamy, it is just gorgeous, and it's so bright, I really, really love it, and such good value as well, it was definitely under a fiver, I can't remember, it was definitely under five pounds, um, so I've been loving that, and it's really, really blendable, the colour of it though, once you sort of rub it in, it does fade out a bit, so that's why I think, um, oh that's a bit bright, that's why I think it looks really lovely, as a base because I think it's just making that champagne eyeshadow on the top just pop even more um, so I've been loving that. Last of my makeup favourites um, is by Revlon and I've gone straight back into loving the red lipsticks again and it is the from their creme collection um, the fire and ice red lipstick and this is just the perfect red to me and there's something about this I think this was like one of their first ever reds um, I think, and I think it was going on since like the 50s or something, there's like some sort of fun fact about this lipstick and I love it and I just think it's so creamy and I love wearing red lipstick again this time of year. Moving on to skincare, I don't often have like facial skincare favourites but I am in love with this product so much and it is the um, Ami Purely For Young Skin 
um, collection, but it's the Spring Clean Cooling Clay Mask. It's got um, organic peppermint in it, fresh white clay and lime butter, over 94% natural ingredients. And it just smells amazing. It's so good. This is actually, I haven't actually used anything out of this um, bottle yet because I got a sachet and um, I got three faces out of it. So I was using that every week, just once a week. And every time I did it, I've never felt such a clean, really fresh feeling of my face. It felt, I mean, it says fresh. Does it say fresh? Or oh, spring clean. But um, it felt so clear and I just loved it. And I thought, this is amazing. And I thought, I have to buy the bottle. So I found this and it was only about £5.50 or something from Amazon. So I was like, that's a bargain. Again, I'll have all these items linked for you in that little information bar just down below um, if you are interested in buying any of these products. Um, I did actually mention this on my blog. Um, every Friday I do like a Friday favourites thing of stuff that I've been loving that week and I had to put it on there and I thought why hadn't I put it on there for previous weeks but I thought well it's more like a monthly favourite more than a more than a more than a more than a weekly favourite so um, but make sure you check out my Friday favourites so that you can see the stuff I've been loving that week and it's not just beauty products it's everything so that's a little plug for my blog there which will be down there somewhere in that little info bar but I have been loving this it's good value it feels good on the skin loads of natural products not tested on animals um, suitable for vegetarians and it's free from parabens and sulfates and mineral oils animal extracts GMOs um, which is the same all animal extracts I suppose but I love this it's been amazing the last item of my September favorites is a perfume and I've gone straight back to my Marc Jacobs Daisy um, this black and gold edition I love this smell I think it smells a little bit like palmer violets um, and I think it's just a really lovely sort of autumn wintry scent and I just love the bottle let's just admire the bottle for a while isn't that gorgeous? I just think it looks so lovely. It looks lovely on the dressing table as well. Um, so I love this. It's quite a sweet scent. It's quite strong, but not too bad. I don't feel that it's overpowering, but um, I like quite strong perfumes. So if you're not a fan of strong perfumes, then I would definitely smell this in the store before you buy it. So that's my September favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know of any favourites you've been loving this month, whether I need to check them out. Make sure you hit that big subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you've checked out my Steph September series because I really enjoyed doing that. And I will link all of that down below. I hope you have a wonderful, have a wonderful, had a wonderful September. And you're all looking forward to, to um, Halloween. Love Halloween. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! But that is one of my absolute favourite